Welcome to the Mud Banks. It's been a while since our last episode. November was very busy with my day job, so I didn't have a lot of time to record. But, I wasn't being lazy. I was getting stuff done around here. So, this episode, we're going to take a quick tour of what I've been doing. I have some clerics now that I'm using for redstone, and some masons that I'm using for terracotta. Unfortunately, three of the four are giving me glazed terracotta, which doesn't help. This guy's useful. He's giving me plain terracotta, which, while not in the colors I want, I can go over to a crafting table and re-dye terracotta. So, these three need to be regular terracotta, preferably in colors I actually want. And then this guy and these two guys are probably going to be unemployed very soon. Then I have my armors, my toolsmiths, and eventually weaponsmiths that are going to go here. Just so I can get backup gear. And I need to do all my librarians still so that I can get the books for the gear. Over here I'm going to put some farmers. And I'm not sure what else. Maybe... I'm thinking maybe Fletchers so I can get tipped arrows, but I'm not sure. I need some shepherds here. And to help with that I have sheep. A wool farm. It's currently collecting only four colors of wool and it's dispersing them everywhere so I can't fit sorters. So a full wool farm that has all 16 colors will be a useful thing to add in the future. That's everything in here. So let's go take a look at what else I've been doing, which involves going to the nether. I don't think I ever showed this off. I made a bigger portal. And I started to put some mud in because this is called the mud banks and so far there's been no mud. This wither rose and this turtle egg are here just to deal with zombie five piglins when they come through. Because they occasionally come through in mass and it's not fun when I come through here and there's, you know, a dozen of them walking around. Especially if I've accidentally hit one. The nether has changed a lot. And by that I mean I'm on the roof. I moved everything up onto the roof so it's a little closer to get the things. Everything's on the same level. And it just makes it easier for me. I don't have to worry about piglins being there or... Well, any other mob really. I mean, they can still come through, but... I have more space. So, if we look around, there's some portals. There's also some other things. Let's go around here. I have... Paths going to most of these portals, there's more that way, but this is one of the reasons why I need a wool farm, because I ran out of dyes and carpet very quickly, and some of these are quite a distance away, so, where is that piglin? He might be down there. This is my access hole. I came up, blew a hole here, and then just started putting stuff. I've also built this gold farm. Now, this gold farm is very simple. It's only two layers. And the main reason I made it was so I can get golden apples for my villagers. It works pretty well when I AFK. That was from about an hour and a half, two hours of AFK time. I've collected all this. And I've actually already used some gold to make golden apples, so it's doing its job. I'm not going to be building with gold, so I don't need it to be super efficient. It just needs to get enough for golden apples. Red line here is where flesh goes, and it just gets burned in lava, because I don't need to keep that. So that's the gist of the nether roof. It's portals and a gold farm. If I go back here eventually becomes a basalt delta and I'm going to put a frog light farm here as soon as I get my frogs done so they're not tadpoles anymore I get enough of them that I can get every color and I can figure out a farm design I might need to get some help with that and you can see the gold farm zombie piglins were dropping they land on mud and with the roses because I didn't build this first. I built the actual farm and then realized it was not far enough for them to all die. 
So this solves that. Let's go to the end and take a look at it. So I built a Enderman farm. And let's fly out here. It's not pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functional. I'm using it for XP, which is one of those reasons why I'm not super concerned about the bottles of enchanting. Right, let me turn this so that they're not as noisy. I have a full enchanting setup, obviously. Some lapis, so I come here when I need to do stuff for enchanting or mending things. Apparently I left some XP here last time. Hmm. But I can collect them, kill them, drop all the ender pearls I don't need. Just a standard enderman farm. And like I said, it's not pretty. It just has to be functional. So that took a while. And I actually lost a pair of elytra and a pair of diamond leggings while doing that. So, I'm glad I only have to build this once, and that's why I will not be making it look nice, because I don't want to risk losing anything else. Now, the next thing I have to show you requires going back to the overworld, so let's go do that. This is the pillager outpost where I freed the LAs, and right now I'm looking for a captain. Are there any captains around? Let's see. I don't see any. Wait, are you a captain? No. Come on, just give me a captain. Someone with the officer rank. That almost hit me. There we go. If we head over here, the next thing I built is Logical Geek Boy's Raid Farm. Very simple, very easy to build, and super helpful. This is how I've been getting emeralds to trade with my villagers and get them maxed out, and it's also how I've got these totems. Now, let me get my sharpness sword, and I guess I'll be picking up banners. Drop down here. Occasionally I take damage falling down there. It's like I miss the water somehow, even though it's a chest. Pop up here, get in position. And the raid should start. There we go. Couple banner guys. And they just come down here and I just start collecting. Very simple farm, very easy to use, and a good source of totems. It's a good source for emeralds too. This is not the right farm I would choose if I really wanted a lot of gunpowder and redstone. But I can't really AFK because I'm on a Mac and I don't have a auto clicker. There are programs for it, but when I tried it, it it just doesn't work the way I want it to. It might just be me not understanding the program well enough, but I also don't want to sit here in AFK in case Vexes spawn because the boats do catch them, but I've also seen where they get past the boats, which is not fun. Down here, I have a storage system. I got some emeralds from that. Get all of these. And some redstone I've been collecting. This is for glass bottles, but I had extra totems I'd put here. More totems. This is where everything goes that's basically not a emerald or redstone or a glass bottle. And sometimes that stuff does make it past here. 
but I'm just using this to collect totems and then I basically trash everything else. But I really don't need to collect totems because I'm pretty set. I have two double chests and a full shocker, not including what's in these chests from just running this. Everything, oh no, I blocked that. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me fix this real quick. Okay, this is how it should be. Anything, when this overflows, it'll just, stuff will just start running into fire and get destroyed. So. Of course they bounce. We put them in here. And, okay, yeah, one of them went by, but most of them are being collected. So basically when those hoppers fill up, they'll keep going by, and as they empty, they'll fall in. But this why I just don't have a ton of extra stuff collecting. I don't want to put in a bunch more chests. Let me drink some milk to get rid of this bad omen. And then we can go back to the industrial district. And, of course, it's raining. Okay, well, I still need to work on the iron farm and get it encased. I might get rid of the glass here and put something nicer in. Kind of maybe match this. Though I'm still not thrilled with how this looks, so this might get a redesign. I put iron up there, just, I don't know why. I had iron blocks and it felt like a fun thing to do. But that's everything that I've been working on. And next episode, we're going to find a spot for our base. Because I want an actual base and an actual storage room, and I need to do something about storage here in the sheep farm. So next episode is going to be kind of busy. I don't think we'll actually build our base, but we'll find a location for it, and then maybe tackle the storage issue here along with the sheep farm. For now, I'm going to go... AFK up here for a bit and collect some more gunpowder and some more string because I can use the string for white wool and then I don't have to have a white sheep or I only have to have one white sheep because I'll probably end up doing multiples of the other colors so I'm just going to AFK up here for a while and I'll see you all next time bye